Madame la Ministre d'État, Secrétaire Général de la Présidence de la République, Monsieur le Secrétaire Général Adjoint de la Présidence de la République, Messieurs les Directeurs et Chefs de Service, Monsieur le Représentant de, de la JICA, Monsieur le Représentant de la COECA, Monsieur le Directeur du Cours de la Paix, Mesdames, Messieurs les invités, chers volontaires et stagiaires. Bonjour. Je, il faut m'excuser, mes amis sénégalais, mais je parlerai en anglais pratiquement la seule fois que je le fais pendant l'année euh, parce qu'il parce qu y a quelques volontaires qui comprennent mieux le Wolof, le Sereur, le Mandinka et le Poulard que le français. Quelle belle délai. I am delighted to welcome you all here to the Ambassador's residence, my home, and to this ceremony. It is a privilege for me to be with such distinguished guests and to have the opportunity to swear into service the 61 Peace Corps trainees sitting before us today. It's one of my favorite duties. This group is the largest we have welcomed in years and represent part of Peace Corps Senegal's growth in becoming the largest Peace Corps program in Africa. <laughs> Cette groupe, Madame la Ministre d'État, représente le plus grand groupe des stagiaires jamais dans l'histoire de uh, Corps de la Paix de Senegal. Et uh, pendant la période que le Corps de la Paix ici est en train de devenir le plus grand programme Corps de la Paix en toute Afrique. You should be proud to contribute to a program that is widely thought of as the most innovative and effective in Peace Corps. You have an important responsibility to continue that tradition. Two months ago, you came to Senegal anxious to begin your Peace Corps experience. Today, armed with the technical, language, and cross-cultural skills you gained during your training, you are now ready to take on your assignments in the towns and villages across Senegal. It is an impressive transformation. Think about it. You are about to become the change in the world that you've been hoping for. I want to congratulate and thank the extraordinary staff at the Chess Training Center who played an important role, a key role, in helping you to become prepared for your assignments. And of course, my congratulations to the Assistant Peace Corps Directors and all of the rest of the staff for guiding you from the day you arrived to follow in the steps that they and others have taken here. Peace Corps Senegal is one of 77 Peace Corps programs around the world. Peace Corps embodies the best of America, service to others in pursuit of peace and development. You will do important work, both individually in each of your communities and as teams as your fellow volunteers have done. For example, the work of Peace Corps Senegal volunteers in malaria prevention and bed net distribution, helping to achieve what we expect will be 100% bed net coverage in Senegal by the end of this calendar year, is known across Africa as a tremendous model of effectiveness. And it is a testament to what you can do working together with government, NGOs, and local communities. Your work in promoting food security is changing lives across Senegal as well. The examples go on. The Peace Corps program in Senegal has a long and rich history. It is a true partnership between the people and the government of Senegal and the United States. Since the arrival of the first Peace Corps volunteers in 1963, over 3,000 volunteers have completed their service to the people of Senegal. The friendships and shared experiences are lifelong. Our former volunteers have become business leaders, members of Congress, educators, diplomats, and even a few Peace Corps country directors here and there. The same is true of the people whose lives you change. Just ask Senegal's Minister for Lower and Middle Education, Khalid Dujalo, as one of so many examples. One truth about the Peace Corps stands above all others. 
Its programs have been the most consistently positive effect of any development effort the United States has ever undertaken. Why? Because development is, in the end, a very personal business. Volunteers, more than the rest of us, and the people you work with benefit from an ongoing exchange of ideas and knowledge of the most fundamental kind. And you are forever changed as well by the way you live together and inspire each other. So remember, by this and any other measure, it will be virtually impossible for you to fail at what you are about to undertake. As you prepare to begin your assignments in small enterprise development, urban and rural agriculture and agroforestry, I congratulate each of you on your successful completion of training. Today, you become an integral part of one of the finest organizations ever created. You should be proud of the accomplishments of those who came before you. They created the foundation upon which you will build.